you're out climbing or are training. And you start to develop that telltale pain at your inner elbow, right where you have that protruding bone. Today, I'm sharing how I first corrected and now avoid the pain of climber's elbow. Hello again, everyone. I'm Jason, medial epicondyle tendinopathy. Medial, inside, epicondyle, bone protrusion, tendon, the soft tissue that connects muscle to bone, opathy, disorder. Also known as climber's elbow, it's painful, sometimes to the point that it can be debilitating. Oftentimes it comes from excessive pull-ups and the strain placed at lock-off during that exercise. But it can come from just a lot of climbing too and it can strike climbers doing any type of climbing. I've experienced it, and I wanna share how I first got rid of the pain and then have managed to keep the pain from returning, even as I've ramped up training cycles. I'm gonna share the specific stretches, mobility exercises, and antagonistic strength training I have used historically, and then provide one other bonus stretch I've recently adopted. First, a couple of side notes. One, I am not a clinician. If you are experiencing significant discomfort or are having your daily activities interrupted by elbow pain, I would strongly recommend talking to a doctor. Hi, everybody. Two, I've been advised by clinicians several times because I've experienced climber's elbow as a climber and also have experienced it before I ever began climbing. Climber's elbow was known as golfer's elbow long before hard free climbing was really a thing. And if you saw a video I did last May, you know I used to be a tournament golfer. And that's when I first got this elbow pain. For golfers, the pain usually comes from a combination of powerfully firing the triceps and rapid extension of the arm, along with the impact vibration of hitting the ground. Which gets to a crucial point of this video. It's important to understand why you are getting this pain. And that may take the advice of a coach, therapist, or physician. For me, it showed up as a climber from weighted pull-ups. More than that, it showed up because I have shoulders that are very rolled forward, which makes it more difficult for me to engage my lats during pull-ups. That puts extra strain on my biceps, and therefore that tendon at the elbow. For stretching, I focused on my forearms, shoulders, and pectorals, the muscles that surround the sore tendon or contribute to those rolled shoulders. I did these stretches before and after my daily workout. I did a forearm flexor stretch. Notice that I am letting gravity and body weight create the tension in my wrist so that I can keep my elbow slightly bent. A hyperextended arm can aggravate the tendon. I did a forearm extensor stretch. The upper arm pulls the wrist of the lower arm. Again, elbows bent. I did single arm door frame pivots for the shoulders. Notice the thumb pointing up. And I did door frame double chest openers for my pectorals. I need to tilt my pelvis forward and hold it there by squeezing my glutes, or I'll end up stretching my lower back should it arch. 30 seconds for each stretch. For mobility, I have three simple shoulder openers. First is shoulder flossing, being sure to hold each hand in the same plane rather than letting one lag behind the other. Next is kneeling thoracic extensions, driving my sternum down rather than my chin or forehead. And then there are the modified kneeling thoracic rotations. Note the up knee is closest to the wall. I really have to try to hold myself to the wall because my mobility is so limited. 20 reps each or 20 on each side for the rotations. Again, twice daily. For the antagonistic strength training, I'm targeting some of the major muscle groups that are the inverse of those pull-ups to alleviate the pattern of overworked pulling and gripping muscles that tire and therefore transfer load to my tendons. By strengthening the opposing muscles, the pushing muscles and finger and wrist extension muscles, they can kick in and share that load with the tendons. So I have the Arnold press, supinated at the bottom and pronated at the top. Again, tilting my pelvis forward and contracting my glutes to relieve strain on my lower back. It can be bad for my spine to press with elbows back. This movement keeps the elbows starting in front of my body. Then there are ring dips to target my triceps. These can be hard, so I can decrease the difficulty by using a bar instead of rings or by using a box for stability. So I've done shoulders and triceps on the upper side of my elbow tendon. Now I need my forearms. Climbers are gripping all day, just like golfers, but doing so even harder. 
So we need to work the antagonistic extensor muscles, first with reverse wrist curls. Don't let yourself cheat by incorporating your biceps. And then also with finger and thumb extensions. Keep your palm flat and then lift each finger upward one at a time. Your thumb moves sideways. You can use rubber bands to add tension. For each of these strength exercises, I did four sets of 10 to 15 reps three times a week. I would usually do these exercises on the same day as other gym session work, fitting them in between unrelated movements like step ups or lunges. This routine I described really drove away the elbow pain. Now I do the exercises as maintenance to keep the elbow pain from coming back. And for the last two years or so, it's worked. I've also added in one other stretch promoted by Tom Randall of Wide Boys and Lattice Training Fame. There's a link to his video in the description and he spends four minutes going over what he calls the climber stretch. So you can take a look for more detail. But the short version is that I'm trying to supinate my arm. I'm going to hold that palm facing out and away from me and then tuck the outside of my forearm just on the hand side of my elbow into my hip bone. I do it with both arms, but lying on the floor, again, with palms facing away from me. So I need to roll into this stretch so I can get one arm and then the other underneath me. If I need to increase intensity, I can raise a leg or even both legs. It kind of feels like traction. I feel a pull and lengthening in my biceps and my forearms, so targeting some of the muscle groups directly around my problem area. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and ring that bell. You can check out our website at shortguysbetaworks.com to find gear lists, all of our videos, and additional thoughts and information. Comments really drive YouTube to put this video in front of others. So if you have experience getting struck by climber's elbow, let us know about it in the comments. If you have any recommendations for getting past it, we'd love to hear about that, too. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.